When you first think of NA Counter-Strike, Team Liquid is a team that comes to mind. Not too long ago, they were dominating the CSGO world and took home the IEM Grand Slam. But now that Liquid's reign has come to an end, it's time for a new NA team to emerge. Now with a new name, a new jersey, and a new trophy, it's time for Evil Geniuses to take over, with Breezy leading the way. Over the past few months, we've seen NRG Esports start to climb up the CSGO rankings. Starlighter Berlin was a particularly impressive tournament for them as they picked up wins over Liquid and Astralis in a new Legends stage. On top of that, they'd previously beaten Astralis in the group stage of ESL Pro League 9. However, when it mattered most, NRG was unable to take down the Danish squad. At ESL 1 New York, they'd once again go face to face with Astralis, this time with an entirely new look. After picking up a win over FaZe in Group B, Evil Geniuses went up against Astralis in the winner's match. And right away, you could tell that Breezy was on top of his game. It is, it is a bit of a force by them. Deagle's upgraded pistols. It's only device with money. He's going to want that AWP. Breezy's going to turn the corner, transfer over to Glaive. In the first map alone, Breezy had 28 kills to his name as EG narrowly came out on top of Dust2. Then on Inferno, Breezy added another team high 23 kills and a huge 2v5 clutch with Cirque to essentially wrap up the series. Three versus two, and a lot of grenades left on Astralis. Now look at this two ops, though. They have two Molotovs as well, but a lot is going to be Cirque over towards that triple box. They do have nades. They do have Molotovs to clear him out, and Breeze needs to hold on as long as possible. None of them are being aggressive. This could be so tough. Astralis getting close, and that's a great shot, and the follow-up from Cirque as well. The ops doing their job, and Dupree, he has, he has utility. He was just never in position to help out. They went very early. Good headshot for Dupree, but absolutely shut down by Breeze. Breezy totaled 51 kills in the series with a rating of 1.33. That win over Astralis put EG into the semifinals against G2 Esports. Compared to Astralis, this series was a piece of cake. For the most part, Breezy took a back seat to the legs of Cirque and Ethan, but when needed, he came up big to keep EG's dominance going. Taken down 15 seconds is much better for G2. Aminek though, spotted and taken out. That 10 seconds won't be much of a factor. The bombs will be planted, no problem. Key is making a lot of noise, and Breezy more than happy to take him down. It's gonna be nine to one now. Evil Geniuses handed G2 a brisk 2-0 to set up a grand finals rematch against Astralis. This was where EG, formerly NRG, struggled in the past. But EG had absolutely zero struggles on Inferno. Have the setup it's Breezy on towards the apartment. We haven't seen too much from him already. Ethan draws blood. Glaive gone. Time a factor. 15 seconds. Breezy holds down mouse one. Close oh. match is great. And leaves just a vice. He's finished off by Cirque. A solid hold. A, a flawless hold from the CT. Evil Geniuses won the opening map 16 to three, and from there on, Breezy took over. On Dust Two, Breezy topped EG with 22 kills, including a game-saving play in round 25. Picks up the orb, he has bullets, he doesn't have any HP though, five seconds, four. Oh, it's done, five. it's done! Breezy saves the day for EG! A last minute change of plan, and it's punished by the North American rifle. EG would go on to close up the map and take a 2-0 lead in the Grand Finals. Despite some more clutch performances by Breezy, Astralis would win train in overtime to climb back into the series. This time, however, Evil Geniuses wouldn't falter has to be made, he said, to delivers here. He's got 100 HP, two free, can't really do much about it. Significant damage, but they know exactly where he is now. Three versus one, he's been painted into the corner, and it's gonna be another impressive victory there for Evil Geniuses. The pressure is on Astralis for numerous reasons, but it's also the fact they're on the T side, they have to make the play! It's Tarek to start the play! Oh, 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 oh. And EG! They let Train slip away, but they don't make the same mistake on Nuke. It's Nuke, no less. Astralis forging a dynasty on that map for EG. They've done it here in New York. EG managed to take down Astralis on Nuke to win the ESL 1 New York trophy. Breezy was named MVP of the event after racking up 93 kills and a rating of 1.25 in the grand finals. Though Breezy won MVP, it was an exceptional team effort that saw an NA team win ESL 1 New York for the very first time. Move aside Team Liquid, Evil Geniuses are the new NA team to look out for.